Hey everybody, welcome to Shooting Gear Reviews, straight up guns and gear reviews. Today we are taking a look at the ultimate budget air gun sniper, and it's right behind me over here on the table. Let's check it out. So there it was, the unveiling of the ultimate budget PCP or air gun sniper right here. This is it, the Gamo Arrow. This thing is awesome, guys. This is new for 2022. And when I say budget, I mean budget. This is coming in right at 230 bucks or less right now you can get these for. So come on. I don't think there's anything else out there that can really touch that, especially for what this thing offers. Now, when I say ultimate, I don't take that lightly. That's not just because of the price. Wait till you guys see what this thing is capable of. Dude, those are freaking awesome. I wanted to also get us a nice bipod on here. Can't have a sniper really without a bipod, right? And this gun actually didn't come stock with any way really to do that. So I had to go ahead and customize this just a little bit by adding a pick rail down there on the uh, bottom front part of the stock wasn't too hard to do you guys are checking it out on screen right now whole process took me maybe 20 minutes uh, start to finish and super super easy to get this guy on there ordered this off of Amazon very inexpensively under 10 bucks and I had myself a pick rail next I went ahead and I picked this guy up right here off of Amazon. I've actually seen a couple other air gunners talking about this, but it's relatively not talked about. I'm not even gonna try and say the name because I know I'll butcher it. On the bottom it says UUQ, uck, or something like that. But anyway, this is under 70 bucks, and as, guys, it's, it's a solid, nice bipod right here that you get for your 70 bucks. Attaches right there. Nice and easy onto my pick rail. The nice wide stance, thing shoots phenomenally off of this. At the bench, you are gonna get absolutely the best results with this gun using a bipod like this. This is fully set up with a scope and a bipod and it's still something that I would just take right into the woods. It's compact, it's rugged, We've got the barrel is fully shrouded. There is a lot of plastic on here, but it's just plastic that's really concealing all the essential components. We've got a, a plastic stock, so you don't have to worry about scuffing this thing up as you're running through the rocky or tree covered terrain. Super small, super rugged, and to me, gives me that confidence that I want to have in my sniper. So speaking of some sniper shots, guys, Let's go ahead and get to that right now. I've got just a couple of quick shots I've collected for you guys over the last few days, using this guy on the ranch here to do some pesting. A couple of rats, a couple of cottontails. Let's go check those out. This ATN scope that I've got on top of here, this is an LTV 5 to 15, and this is a really awesome scope. Gets great footage, both day and night. You get to see a little bit of each of that in this video, but the one thing I don't like about it is that it doesn't record audio.
So here they are, three more reasons, in no particular order, why I selected the Gamo Arrow as my ultimate budget PCP sniper. And those three reasons are, one, open sights. If this scope fails or whatever scope I've got on here fails, I can pull this guy off and run this thing open sights, not hardly skip a beat when you never know what might happen. That's pretty dang cool. And the fact that, hey, it's on my budget gun, didn't have to pay a dime extra for it, that's two thumbs up worth of cool. Reason number two, in no particular order, is this right here. Standard foster fill connection. When you're in a sniper situation, the last thing you want is to have to hunt around or dig out your fill probe. When you could just be connecting it up to a standard foster fitting right there like that. That is awesome. Two thumbs up again there on that. And reason number three, final reason of my three reasons why this is a great gun as your budget PCP sniper gun right there only takes 232 bar to fill. That is a significant amount less than the 4500 PSI that a lot of air guns are taking these days. That seems to be like the standard more and more companies are going with is 4000 4500 PSI. Now, if you're out in a sniper situation and you need to get this guy topped back off using a hand pump or a portable compressor is going to be super super quick to get this guy filled back up all right so there you have it thank you guys so much for staying tuned with me to fully check out the ultimate budget sniper right here air gun sniper the gamo arrow 22 cal pcp brand new for 2022 and it has a lot of reasons that make it the ultimate budget sniper. I'm sure I might have even missed a few in this video. Leave them in the comments if you guys think of any that I missed. And uh, I'll see you over here in this video. Using the budget sniper to snipe some things, right? Right here. Check it out. I'll see you guys over there.